All right. So in this module, we are going to talk about platform cache. So what is a cache? I think you would already know what a cache is, right? So like, for example, this Chrome browser, it's caching web pages. So if I reload this page again, it's fast. This squirrel image is already in the Chrome memory. It's not retrieving the same squirrel image from the server the second time, but this is already saved on my Chrome browser. So when I refresh, poop, it's a split of a second. Plus I have a fiber optic connection. <laughs> but anyways, you know what I'm talking about, right? So this image is retrieved from the cache of the browser. So it saves time. So that's a, a cache is, uh, that they, that analogy is the same thing as a platform cache in Salesforce. Basically, um, when we go and do complex calculation in our code, we can cache the result. So then the second time we need the result, we don't have to perform a second calculation again. It's already saved in our cache or our memory. So before we go any further, we have to request a platform cache if we are on a Trailhead playground. So developer org has zero megabyte of cache capacity. So we can request the trial of 10 megabyte and it takes a few minutes to do that. Let's go ahead and request so we can actually play around on the second section where we actually want to use um, org and session cache. So I'm going to go here and go to my hands on org and launch to my developer beginner. Close this up and then we are going to request here. Okay, so we go to um, setup and then cache and then platform cache and request trial capacity. So let's go ahead and do that here. Setup and then search for cache here. Not Johnny Cash, just cache, platform cache. And we are going to request um, trial capacity. This will be automatically approved, but will take a few minutes. So I'm going to hit OK. And then by the time we get to the next section. Oh, I think we're, we're, we're done. It's not even, it's, it's instant now. OK, that's cool. So we got our um, platform cache. So when can I use platform cache? The best data to cache is reuse throughout a session or reused across all users and requests. It is static, not rapidly changing, and it's expensive to compute or retrieve. Like I said before, if your Apex code or your Visual Force page has a complex calculation to get a particular data and you calculate it, you and, and then that result won't change and you know it for sure it won't change within a few seconds or a few minutes, right? Maybe the next day it will change, but not within a few minutes. So if you know that, you can use this platform cache or the next page of the Visual Force page, for example, that uses that same data, you already have the result. You do not have to recalculate everything, okay? So store data that doesn't change often. So use the cache to store static data that doesn't change often. So what's the example? Public transit schedule like buses, you know, that doesn't change too often. Company shuttle bus schedules or the tabs that users see, static navigation, shopping cart that you want to resist during a session. That's a good example. Daily snapshot or of exchange rates, uh, rates fluctuate during a day. So this might change quite often, right? Store data obtained for, from complex calculations. So like a total sales over the past week, this would be rolling up, right? It's calculating. And then you have the total number is from last week. So it won't change because it's from last week, right? But to get that total, you have to add an 
add all the sales. Maybe you have 50,000 records to add up. So you don't want to keep redoing that, recalculating, adding up 50,000 records every time you need this number. You just want to do it once and then you get the number and then you cash it. You cash the money. No, I mean you cash the, the, the data onto your platform cash or you can keep using it. Top sales ranking, top volunteering hours company, blah, blah, blah. The same thing, all right? So, um, next, cash allocation by addition. So, depending on your Salesforce org addition, you have 10 megabyte if you are on enterprise edition. Unlimited edition have 30 megabyte. Performance have 30 megabyte by default, but you can request more and pay more for it. Experiment with a trial cache. So you can have um, 10 megabyte for developer edition and play around with it. And if, ooh, I like it, and you decide this is gonna work fine for my application. So you can buy more if you need more than 10 megabyte. So what are the types of platform cache? We've just discussed about that already. Org cache, cache, and session. So org is a, uh, across everybody. Session is by the session on user. So session cache stores data for an individual user and is tied to that user's session. The maximum life for a session is eight hours. Okay, after eight hours, it's gonna retrieve a new fresh data, all right? So, what are the performance gains? Will it improve my app? Depends, right? If you're performing complex calculation, like if you don't use the cache, this is the time in milliseconds, how long it takes to get the result, so the more complex it goes up, but when you cache it, it doesn't change because you already have the data, right? It keeps zero milliseconds, which is what you want. Same thing, if you have to do multiple SQL queries, if you don't cache it, you're actually doing a SQL of the same exact query over and over again and over again and over again, and the time will climb it's gonna take longer for your application to finish what it's supposed to. Whereas if you cache that same SQL the first time, and then you know that data won't change the second time when you perform the SQL, it's the exact same data. So you can use the cache and then the millisecond here, right? It's gonna be flat. It's gonna be super fast to load. All right, what are cache partitions? So basically, you can partition like you partition a hard drive. So if you have a computer hard drive, you can partition, oh, I want this for my documents, I want this for my videos, I want this for my images, I want this for my games, and so on and so forth. Same thing with platform cache, you can partition it. This is for this application, this is for that application. So you can partition it and define how large is this one and how large is that one. And that's basically it. So this is just getting started with platform cache. We're gonna play a bit more on the second um, section here where we're actually going to use the cache and see how it works. So quiz, which one of these is a char characteristic of data that's appropriate for cache? Reuse throughout a session, reuse across all users, no? The, I mean, C is, no, this is to A, B, yeah? Cheap to compute, no, we want expensive to compute, then we want to use it. Platform cache supports persistent storage, session data, org data, no, BNC, no persistent storage, this is what, AWS. What type of data is suitable to store in a session cache. Data that is shared among all users, data that is specific to a particular user and is tied to that user session, data that is tied to one partition, statistic about a Salesforce session. Session cache is session, right? Data that is specific to a particular user and is tied to that user session. So number four, which is a valid capacity allocation for org and session cache in partition. Which is a valid capacity allocation for org and session cache in a partition? Org one, you, know, you have to have five minimum, right? So you can put one, you can put 5.5. .5.
So it's just B. Bada bing, bada boom. I will see you on the next section when we play with the section cash. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.